Hello, and thank you for tuning into our series, Restoration of a Vintage Singer Sewing Machine Model 15. You are here. The sixth video in a 10 part series entitled, The Bob and Winder. If this is your first visit to the channel, we encourage you to view all videos in the series. We are also producing a series entitled, How To Quick Information in 5 Minutes or Less. Our first is the thread tensioner. Check it out. First of all, we need to remove the balance wheel. So let's get started. Notice the stop pins on the clamp washer. And notice that the set screw is about one half way in between. Remove the set screw. On the clamp screw, that's Singer's official name for what most call the wheel nut. Remove the balance wheel. Let's identify the parts. The friction ring, known as the tire. The stop latch. The tripping arm. The frame spring. The frame. As you move the wheel down to make contact with the balance wheel, two things happen. The tripping arm goes up, allowing the stop latch to turn counterclockwise. Holding the tripping arm, the frame, and the friction wheel in the down position, putting pressure on the balance wheel. This will turn the friction wheel, which turns the bobbin shaft, and achieves its goal of winding thread from the thread spool to the bobbin. To release the pressure and stop the bobbin from turning, just raise the stop latch. But you knew that. Remove the stop latch screw. You'll see another important part. The latch spring. The stop latch will hold it in place until you remove the latch. The frame and the tripping arm will come off together. Next, remove the tripping arm from the frame and remove the frame spring. Off camera, I've cleaned and polished all the parts. If you've been watching the previous videos, you know the three step process. First, clean with alcohol. Clean and polish with polish and compound. Use automotive wax if necessary and wipe down with WD 40. Okay, let's go back together. Place the frame spring back into the frame and place the tripping latch over the spring. Notice the latch. It looks like a boot. Place the toe of the boot to the right and put in the screw. The frame spring will stick out in the slotted opening. Next, replace the latch spring. This can be a little trying to your patience. The spring has a small finger sticking out on either end one at the 6th position, and one at the 12th position. On this particular spring, one of the fingers is ever so longer than the other. I'm placing the long finger to the inside of the housing. Okay, the stop latch has a small hole that corresponds with the spring finger. Line up the hole and spring finger, and hold it in place. Put the latch screw in, and secure the latch. With a screw tight, the latch should move freely.
Take the frame and insert the frame screw. Start the screw in the hole. But just a little turn to make sure that the screw won't come out. Pay attention to the frame spring. It has to go under the balance wheel, guard. I'm slowing this clip down to show how the trip arm attached to the frame. Has to clear the stop latch. That's why you leave the frame screw loose to give room to clear. There you go. Tighten the frame screw. Everything is working freely and correctly. The friction wheel is in good condition, but we need to clean it with alcohol. This will remove any built up oil as well as to scuff the rubber for greater traction. We also will clean the wheel hub with alcohol. This will ensure the friction ring doesn't slip. The ring can be slipped on the hub. Let's clean up the balance wheel. Use alcohol freely to remove the old grease and build up debris. Use a Q-tip and a wire brush to clean the hard to get to places. Spray with WD-40. And continue cleaning. Next use polishing compound and auto wax. Rub until you have a high gloss finish. The race that runs around the balance wheel needs to be cleaned with alcohol. This will remove the WD-40 and the auto wax that we have applied. Replace the clamp washer. and the clamp screw. Make sure the set screw falls between the stop pins on the washer. The winder is working properly. Notice as we turn the balance wheel, the friction wheel does not turn. Not to worry, we'll adjust the tension on the tripping arm. With your thumb, apply pressure to the spindle, moving the ring closer to the balance wheel. The ring rides on the race that we just cleaned with alcohol. Adjust it to where the ring turns without slipping. This completes the removal, cleaning, reassemble and adjusting the bobbin winder. We hope that you've enjoyed it, and it has given you some ideas about restoring an old singer. This has been number 6 in the video series Restoring a Model 15. And we're just a little past halfway through our project. At the posting time of this video we have 4 additional videos in production. In our next video, entitled, The Feed Dogs, Needle Guide and Throat Cover, we'll remove clean and service all parts, paying special detail to reassembling correctly. To be the first to see the newest videos, make sure you subscribe, click the button, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching.